Hey, yeah, what's up? This is Cypher Marshall O'Kearns Rain back up in this anti-Illuminati all day, anti-America all day, as you know. So this video is going to be about dangers to the public, dangers to the public. What are the real dangers to the public? Because we got these uh, National Guard, Vigilante, Secret Society, American government, American community in essence. Rolling around talking about somebody's a danger to the community. Well, let's look at the whole situation. Your whole American community is a danger to the public. Your whole entire, most of the bulk of your community, the bulk of it, is a danger to the, the flowing public. Somebody can do something at any given time. Somebody could do something at any given time to their own children. Somebody can do something any given time at a grocery store, at a, at a, uh, where else, schools. Your whole American community is a danger to itself. It's self-destructing. So who are you to pluck out anyone out of your dangerous community that's killing itself and call them a danger to the public? Let's go over who the dangerous, the real dangers are to the public. The real dangers are, is, first of all, foundationally, people who break constitutional rights of Americans. I don't care who you are. You are only working for the American establishment. What's already established way before you was born. That's a seven. This was established way before you was born. Whether it's me or you. And what was established is constitutional rights of each and every citizen, not no bias at all. When there is a bias, you are illegal. That's a seven. If you don't have no crime, no operations, you have to kick rocks. Go Google kick rocks and see what that means. You have to kick rocks. I have to see your head get small. Okay? You, 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 if you don't have any illegal operations or crimes, you are Ill illegal in someone's life. You can't say you're waiting for this or waiting for that. Nah. When a certain amount of time goes by, you have become illegal. Unfortunately, in the real world, we can't hover around suspected criminals. We can't investigate and put under illegal surveillance people that we think are going to do something. This is not a minority report world that you live in. You don't live in a Tom Cruise minority report trying to predict crimes, trying to predict what's going to happen next. I'm sorry. That's a part of living in an evil world and you can't stop all evil from happening. See, we have to understand this. Listen to this very closely. As the world becomes more evil, it's nothing we can do to stop it. That's a seven. Because, see, what your American government has been trying to do is to maintain this astrophil, synthetic grass-like society. That's a seven. They're trying to maintain this synthetic grass Society, it's not going to happen. Your country has become so evil, it is a danger to its actual self, which is a form of self destruction. So, so, as it becomes more evil, you can't just throw us all under surveillance. That's a seven. Ow. You can't just throw us all under surveillance because your country is being tore up from the floor. Up. You have to still maintain the liberties that people have and are given that you are just maintaining. You are just a, another number maintaining the, the uh, constitutional rights. That's all you're doing. It doesn't matter who it is. Joe Biden is just, a, is just someone who's maintaining an establishment that was born way before he was born, even old as he is. It was these establishments, if you will, was here before he was. So all of these government officials, I have no. I am not intimidated by none of them because they are just people that are maintaining what already was.
before they was even born. That's all you doing. You're just going to an a, a stat a, 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 something's all that is already established. Already established. You're going to an established establishment. That's what you're doing. You're going to an established establishment, and though this establishment foundational rules are constitutional rights. I don't. I'm not intimidated by any FBI leaders. All I got to do is throw up them constitutional rights, and it's over. CIA too, government too, community too, police too. All of y'all are born into something already established before you got here. You talking about you American. What does that mean? What does that mean? It don't mean nothing to me. I'm going by the rules. I don't care what you call yourself. And if you're breaking these rules, honestly, you're not American. Well, you can't break the constitutional rights of Americans and call yourself American. You can't use desperate measures in desperate times. What makes you competent as a community is that you're able to maintain the constitutional rights of Americans without breaking their rights. That's a seven. If you, if you're see when you're incompetent, you have to manipulate. That's a seven. Well, you don't see me manipulating, do you? Because I'm competent. That's a seven. You, am I manipulating? How? I'm telling you the truth. I'm I'm passionate about the truth. How am I manipulating? You see how they're manipulating? They got to ride around and put me under illegal surveillance. They got to ride around and drive around, whether it be secret secret society, doing work for the government, whether it be community, whoever it is, they have to come into my grounds and manipulate. I don't have to come to anybody's situation and drive around. I don't have to come to your house and drive around. I don't have to come to your neighborhood. I can get you and you can go to another country. That's how adequate the kingdom of God is. I don't have to manipulate. Let's make this clear. I am not manipulating in any form or fashion. I am not manipulating. Look up the word if you don't know what manipulation means. Because some of y'all need a clarity on what manipulation is. I am not manipulating in any form or fashion. You are manipulating every time you outside on my grounds and not on your side of the board. If this was a game, you would have to be on your side of the board to not manipulate. That's a seven. You're on my side of the board. Well, this is my place. This is my apartment. This is my neighborhood. This is my grounds, therefore. So if you're here, you're on my side of the board. If it is a contest, that's a seven, which means you have to be here because you're incompetent which means you have to manipulate to be competent. The the bottom line is people who's breaking constitutional rights are incompetent. The forefathers didn't have to do that, did they? Well, let's just put it like this. Let's leave America out of it because it's not really a good example. The competent warriors in, in military of militaries of the world, they did not have to manipulate necessarily illegally in order to necess- to become as great as they were. Now, is war is war deceptive is war deceptive? Of course it is. You ain't gonna let your enemy know you're coming if you're coming. You ain't gonna let your enemy know you're about to pull up and you're about to pull up. So war is deceptive, but this ain't war. Come on, this ain't no war. I'm bringing war, but they not. They're on this side with illegal surveillance, with no evidence, no no real reason to be here, thinking that thinking that they're going to get me to do something for them after they've been defeated. How much more pathetic can they be? All right, I beat you. You didn't start out calling me a king. You didn't start out calling me a president. You started out calling me everything but a child of God. Every every Everything but a child of God. Now look at you calling me a king. Looks like you're pathetic. That's what it looks like to me. Because, yeah, just because I got talents don't mean they're for you. Just because I have gifts and military skills does not mean it's for you. Look how look how they flatter themselves. Oh, he has skills. That's our king. Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. 
Just because I have talents, your enemies have talents. Your enemy has skills. Your enemy has power. But it doesn't mean it's for you. That's a seven. You thought it was for you just because, right? Just because. They think they think my talents is just for them just because. Just because. Just because I'm here and they're American. That part. Well, unfortunately, you're not able to take all the goods of the world like you've been doing. You ain't able to take th- these goods over here for yourself. I already told you, I am willing to die before me and you will be together. Before we will ever be together, I am willing to die. That's how serious I am. Now, I don't know how serious you are. It's not going to happen. You're in a dream cartoon world. It's not going to happen. Okay, so you can stop dreaming and stop scheming. Okay, because putting me under illegal surveillance is a death sentence. I don't care what you say. I don't care. I don't care what it's about. I don't care if a person raped a million children, a kid and and grandparents. Who cares if you don't have any evidence? I don't care. This is a time of evidence. This is a time of what you can prove. We live in a world where people lie all the time. We're in 2022. We're in the world where people manipulate, which always is inadequacy. They manipulate all the time because they're not successful, because they ain't nothing. So they got to manipulate. Don't get mad at me because you you have to manipulate. It ain't my fault you got to manipulate. Hey, if you, if you, look, if your country was so great, you would be able to find another leader, wouldn't you? You should be able to find another leader. You should be able to find somebody else. Why can't you do it? Because we're among inadequacy on every level. So you look, you, now you see someone with goods and you're thinking, oh, that's going to be for us. Sorry to tell you. My adequacy does not mean your adequacy. <laughs> you got to pay me, buddy. You got to pay me. That's what grown men do. You don't see no military out there for free, do you? Hey, you go tell the military to serve for free and see what happens. Go tell go tell the police to serve for free, to serve your country on the beat for free, for free now, and see what happens. They want their money up front. That part, within weeks time, that part. We ain't talk about years. You tripping. You already owe me, buddy. Ain't nothing for free out here. You already owe me. And I'm willing to die and go all the way. I'm letting you, 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 you passive docile Americans know I'm willing to go all the way. I'm willing to go all the way because you, first of all, you a corrupt community. That's the reason why I'm willing to go all the way. You think I'm going to lay down with, for these suckers? Who would die for this? Who would die for this? You got 44 states with child marriage. Who going to die for that? Anybody want to die for that? Anybody want to die for that? Police included, military included, CIA, FBI included. Y'all going to die for a country that's marrying children. This is where we at in 2022. You not awake. You think you're awake. How are you awake with all this deception? That's a seven. How are you awake when they always telling you something? You ain't awake. They putting so much deception on you, you you don't even know what to believe. That's the problem now. You don't even know what to believe. I'm going to tell you what you can believe. Your country is marrying children in 44 states. You can believe that, Jack. And is there anything else to talk about? So they're the danger to the children. They're the danger to the public. Well, 44 states is dangerous to children. Right or wrong? See how quiet they are now? See how quiet they are now? So you're not in search of the truth. You want to play with me, and I'm a part of the kingdom of God. That's your death, man. I I tell anybody. I would tell anybody to their face, you play with God's kingdom, you might as well say your goodbyes. That's worse than playing with the mob. It's worse than playing with gangs. 
What you think we are? Some trampled on suckers? Boy Scouts? Playing with this, you will die. Let's separate the difference between me and, and, the, and the community in America. If you play with the body of Christ, God's wife, that's what we are. We're God's wife. What you think he going to do to you? Man, we'll shred you to pieces. You ain't nothing in this side, on this side. Don't you understand that? You force my hand to tell you you ain't nothing and you know you ain't compared to God and his kingdom. You ain't nothing. You shouldn't have to force my hand for you to know that. You can't play. We the top of the food. Ch- we are the top of the food chain. The kingdom of God is at the top of the food chain. I don't care who you talk about. Who is above us? Name them. Go get them. You thought I was playing. I'm not playing. I'm playing with y'all. You are nothing. Gas yourself. You you gas yourself. You gassing yourself. You're nothing. You got 44 states with child marriage. You think you mean something to someone that's educated on that? Who? Who among you? Who among you is something with that going on? Who? And then I want to talk to them. I want to talk to whoever you think is special in your community. I want to talk to them about 44 states with child marriage and see how special they feel after that. See see how enlightened they feel after that. Well, you'll feel very unenlightened when this much has been going on and you didn't know it. You're going to feel enlightened, but you didn't know this. You're going to feel enlightened when you didn't know 44 states with child marriage is going on. You feel enlightened after it's been going on and you didn't know. I wouldn't if I was you. How can you feel enlightened when you know nothing about what's going on around you? That part. That's silliness. Meet the real for real. Just like Jay-Z said, you overbuilt yourself. Now, witness the real for real. You overbuilt yourself as a community. We so loving. We love children. How you love the children? You got 44 states for child marriage. You overbuilt yourself to being something that you're not. And you know who's real about it? The one that's revealing to you that your community is marrying children. Not having sex with them, marrying them. Marriage, wedlock. Bro, you can't be serious. You cannot be serious. Just like JC said, you overbuilt yourself. Now witness the real for real. You say you're about protecting children. How can you, okay, you built yourself up to be like that, right? As a community. You built yourself up like that. This is the facts. Don't worry about me. Don't worry about what I'm doing. Don't worry about my conduct. Worry about that conduct. Worry about the conduct of 44 states marrying children. Worry about that conduct. You don't need to worry about mine. You need to be concerned about what's a real danger to your community. You know what's the real danger? You marrying children. That's the danger. Anybody got objections? Anybody got objections? That's for all you judges that sit up so noble and holy in this community. Well, I expect you to be a student of the law. But then how come you still working with with 44 states married children? That's for all the judges. All the Supreme Court judges all across the country, sprinkled over the country. How come you are serving as a judge and supposed to be a student of laws and you don't even know that child marriage is going on, but you prosecuting people on child uh, sexual activity? This look, this is beyond an injustice. This is the shutdown. This is the shutdown, buddy. Look, man, ain't nobody in their right mind serving no country, serving marrying children. I ain't talking about nowhere else. I'm talking about here. First thing people want to do, well, you know what they're doing over there. I don't care what they're doing in other countries. That doesn't involve me. What involves me is right here. 
everything at arm's length. That's what involves me. And you know what it is? You got 44 states with child marriage, the age of consent of the 18 and 40 states. You just passed laws three years ago that allows adults to marry children at any age. You still got nine states that's allowing that. You know how I many, you know how much how big a one state is? All those counties? All those counties you got in one state. That's one state is worse. Worse enough. And so who's the real danger? You want to talk about danger? That's a danger to children. That comes first. If I'm right or wrong, right or wrong, guys, what comes first? The well-being of children or the well-being of adults? That's a seven. Ow. Oh. What's more important? The well-being of children or the well-being of these, these musty adults out here? You got musty adults out here and you got children. What's most important? So, okay, so we, we agreed that children is the most important for the well-being for the children. Then what 44 states of married children, how's that well-being for children? How's that not putting children in harm's way? So 44 states with child marriage is not children's in harm's way. That ain't children in harm's way. So I'm not the smartest man in the world, but it looks like the American government is endangering the most important part of the humanity, which are the children by having 44 states marrying children. So let's, yeah, you want to talk about who's the real danger. We ain't going to play these games. We're going to talk about facts and reality, something you got far away from a long time ago. Obviously, you got away from it a long time ago when you start marrying children. Ho! Oh. You got way away from the reality we live in, big baby. We, hey, I hear we'll live on that reality. Ain't nobody trying to wife up no child. Anybody trying to make a get a a, a child a child wifey? My wifey. <laughs> Anybody trying to get a child wife out here? Anybody trying to get a child husband? Want my child hubby? Anybody want a child hubby out here? All you women want a man put a ring on it? How can a child put a ring on it? Seven. How can a baby put a ring on it? Huh? You got forty-four states married children. How can children put a ring on it? Idiots. You should have knew better than to play with me. I'm an educated black man. You missed that part, didn't you? Oh, I'm black, but guess what? I'm educated. You know you can die from education? Well, if I'm educated on something, if I'm educated on something that incriminates you, you're dead then. You can get killed from education, from an educated man. Well, I'm a, if I'm educated on something that you're not educated on, it can prove fatal. I know you didn't think you des you thought you deserved to die from only killing people. Well, some would say you deserve to die for 44 states married children. I know. So what else? So what the, what, what's supposed to happen to them? Yeah, let's go through that. What's supposed to happen to people that's marrying children in 44 states, guys? You got any recommendations? What do we do with them? Let's say we got them somewhere rounded up. What do we do with them? What do we do with 44 states marrying children politicians? Huh? What do we do with the community that's actually marrying them, too? We can't leave you out. What we do with you? What do you say? What you say, what we do with you? Yeah, I know you're gonna go good on yourself, ain't you? Yeah, well just give us a piece, of, give us a piece of pizza and a cupcake, and we'll talk it over. We supposed to have a cookout about it, huh? <laughs> How convenient of you to feel that way. That's why I love the word convenience. It explains a lot. Apply it to your life. It's applicable in more than one way. It's applicable in many ways. The word convenience. Add it to your cat cat vocabulary. It's convenient for them to just feel that we should do nothing. It's because you're to blame. You're at fault. You're liable. 
So we don't. So it's convenient for you to feel nothing should happen to you. Yeah, understand human psychology. You don't, do you? Obviously not. Because you would realize that right now you're practicing a form of convenience. Well, it's convenient for you to feel that nothing, absolutely nothing should come to you. No harm should come to you. But if somebody else did this, what would you want done to them? 44 states with child marriage. What you want done to that? If the American government, let's try this out. If the American government found out that another country had 44 states with child marriage, what you think America would want to do with that country? That's the best question right there. That's a seven. That's the best question. What would America want done to another country? Let's not. Nah, this is a real question. I want you to ask your politicians. What would they want done to another country that's marrying children in 44 states? What would the Americans want done? Let's ask them. Let's ask the FBI. What FBI? FBI headquarters. What would you want done to another country with 44 states with child marriage? Military. What would you want done to another country with 44 states with child marriage? Police. All the police precincts combined. I talk to you over. I talk to you over intercom. All of you. What would you want done with 44 states married children in another country, buddy? Huh? Marrying children. By the way, what you want done with that? Now you see how biased it is. Because you know what America would do. They would go over and try to fix other people's problems. Let's go fix this. 44 states marrying children. This is crazy. Marrying children in 44 states. What are we going to do about it? Yeah, you feel like that about another country except yourself. Man, you can't tell me these American government people wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't be all over another country for marrying children in 44 states. They would be all over another country. Right or wrong. So what are we supposed to be doing? See, it's convenient for you to feel this way, just like it's convenient for you to tell me to forgive you for slavery. That's a seven. Ow. Well, it's convenient for you because it was white America who was doing it. So it's convenient for you because my forgiveness means peace for you while you're here. But if the people really woke up and didn't forgive you, you'll be in trouble. Mm -hmm. You see that? You see that part right there? If, if they, they didn't forgive you and they just snapped, you would be in trouble. So it's convenient for you. I love the word convenience. It's convenient for you. To say, forgive us for slavery. We didn't do it, but your family did it. And you know what, what most gangsters do? If they can't get you, they go after the family. They go after the family when they can't get you. So what are we supposed to do? Your family enslaved my family. I don't forgive it. Well, I don't forgive it. You didn't you 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 help you hold this stuff to me that I didn't even do in the context that you said I did it. So why should I forgive you for what you actually did? That's a seven. Hmm? Doesn't make sense. I'm over here forgiving you. <laughs> why you over here accusing? So I don't forgive you. That means everything is not forgiven. Slavery, none of that. Now you see where you're at? You look like the dirty piece of crap that you are. I look, money is one thing. See, this is where we separate the men from the boys. Because you worried about how you're going to get your money. You're not worried about change. See that part? I don't care about the money. I want to see this right here that goes around playing world police, jumping at everybody else's war, except they, the wars they need to fight right here. Yeah, you need to fight a lot of wars here. You knew that? Did you know that? 
You need to fight a lot of wars here that you're not fighting. Well, you got these suckers out here playing games. You can't control your own citizens. So you leave it up to me. When I control them, they're going to die. Well, you should have got better hold of your people, military, National Guard, police, government. Those are your people. I bet you a black, I bet you if it was a black organization doing that, they would have been shut that down. That's how I know it's white people. You know why? Because the American community and government is allowing it to happen. If it was black people, for the most part, as far as the leadership, it wouldn't be going on. That's a seven. Ow. So you can have black people a part of it, but the, at the end of the day, it's still a white effort. That part, seven. Ow. Call it what it is. It's the only reason it's going on. Let black, let black people try to go all around the country playing games like that. Man, they'll shut that down ASAP. They shut us down when we peaceful. <laughs> they shut us down when we peaceful. That part, when they suspect something. That's how you know it's a white man's effort because it's being allowed. Anything allowed in America is white effort. That's a seven. I don't care if it's money. I don't care what it is. If it's being allowed, the white man's getting his money or it's for his, his object. It's, it's his objective. It's his objective. That's how I know black people ain't a part of that. Because I'm too educated. It ain't nothing but white people running that. Now, you might have black people, Mexican people, like the ones outside of my apartment, the ignorant ones, but they're working for the white establishment, which makes it, in my opinion, a racist white agenda. <laughs> I don't care what you say, money, what you, 